Well, hey folks, welcome to Solar Cabin Channel. I've got a uh, new inverter for my off-grid cabin. Now, the reason I had to get this is the last one that I got only lasted for two years, and when I went to try and see if I could fix it because it just stopped working on me, there was no way to fix it, no replaceable fuses or anything. So I was really frustrated, went to Amazon to try and find a uh, better inverter uh, to run mostly my microwave, some small appliances that I use for cooking here in my off-grid cabin, maybe some uh, tools and things like that that I run, like my power drills and things like that. So I needed an inverter that is at least a 1,000 watts, and I wanted one that had replaceable fuses uh, and had enough peak power that it could ramp up to run some larger appliances that have some startup power. So... This one is made by Power Drive. This is a 1,000 watt inverter with a 2,000 watt peak. And here's the features that I looked at and why I was interested in this one. Uh, this has a input of 11 to 15 volt DC. I use solar here at my house. I'm on a 12 volt system. Uh, my batteries are 12 volts, so I wanted to make sure, and the batteries can be up to 14 volts on a 12 volt system. So I want to make sure that this would work with my batteries. Uh, it has an output of 115 volt AC. It has two AC outlets where a lot of the other inverters I looked at for more money only had one outlet on it. This has two outlets, which is important because a lot of times I may be running one, one appliance and they need to plug in something else at the same time. Uh, it has an output frequency of 58.62 hertz. I'll explain kind of why that's important. Now, this is a pure sine wave inverter. Pure sine wave means that it will run things without causing damage like your microwaves, uh, refrigerators, uh, other, some certain types of motors and tools require a pure sine wave inverter. Now, if you try to run them on the cheaper modified sine wave, sine wave inverters, you may do damage to the appliance. So you want to get a pure sine wave inverter if you're running some appliances like microwaves and things like that. Uh, this has a continuous power of 1,000 watts. Uh, a surge power of 2,000 watts, like I said, you need that if you're going to be running a something that has a, what, is, what is called a ramp-up power, like a microwave or a refrigerator or something like that. So you need that surge power in your inverter in order to get those motors running. This has a low battery shutdown of 10.5 volts. That means it won't let your batteries get below 10.5. It will shut off completely. It has a battery low alarm, though, something that a lot of these other inverters don't have. This has a battery low alarm at 11 volts. So when it hits 11 volts, this inverter will tell you, hey, you're dropping way low on your batteries. You could cause damage, uh, and so it's time to shut it off. But it won't shut off until 10.5 volts, okay? The warning is there to tell you, hey, you're running low on your batteries. That's important because if you're running something like AGM or flooded uh, cell batteries, if you drain them too low you can actually damage the batteries i use both agm and lifepo 4 batteries which i'll be hooking this up to a lifepo 4 battery uh, they can run a little bit lower without doing any damage to the battery but you still shouldn't drain them down to that 10.5 volts always try to shut them off if you hear that alarm on this go off it's time to shut this off and stop running it on your batteries let your batteries charge back up uh, now this has a usb out port actually has two usb out ports has a usb 2.4 amp output that's for recharging small gadgets phones things like that it has a usb c output that's your fast charging output uh, with the three point amp and 15 watts it can recharge things a lot faster using the usb c output than it can the standard usb it gives you both of the USB outlets on this inverter. It has AC, as I said, it has two AC outlets. Now this was really important to me. This has an internal fuse replacement. It uses blade fuses, same type of fuses you find in any automobile. You can get them at any auto parts store. So if something blows on this unit, if the fuse, which is what's likely to blow on one of these units, this has a, a easy access so that you can open it up replace the fuse in it and get it back working. My other old unit didn't have that, and that's probably what blew out on it. Uh, and let's see, power cable length, it comes with, with 36 inches of cables. I did open it up and look. These are really thick, heavy cables, and that's one of the things I look at. You can always tell a cheap inverter when they send really thin uh, power cables. That's going to cause problems for your inverters. This comes with 36-inch, 3-foot-long uh, cables to attach it. Uh, and then I'll show you how big it is. So let's go ahead and open this up. So I've told you what the features are here. Let's take a look at this unit. Now, this is also a Bluetooth connected unit. Now, Bluetooth is important if you uh, have this unit like out in your garage or maybe in a workshop or shed. You can use your Bluetooth on your phone and then you can get the actual readings from your battery and your inverter directly to your phone. 
Okay, so we got this out of the box now. Uh, show you, this is a pretty hefty size unit. Uh, in the pictures on Amazon, it doesn't look that big, but it's actually a fairly good size uh, unit. All right. It is a thousand watt inverter. Uh, it is a, appears to be like an aluminum case, probably. Uh, there's, this is the display on the front. It, you can see that it has two AC outlets, one 10 volt AC outlets, and it has a USB C, it has a USB standard port. Uh, for uh, low voltage gadget charging. And then it has the USB-C port, which is a 15 watt fast charging port. Good outlets uh, that you need on most inverters that you're going to be using, especially if you're off grid like I am. I use lots of USB uh, gadgets at my place. Now, one of the reasons I got this is because this has a display. This display will show you what your volts are on your battery. Now that's real important to me because I keep my inverter in my cabin with my battery. So I can just look over and see what my volts are on my battery at any time. That's good because uh, my controller doesn't show what my uh, battery level is. And so this will tell me what my batteries are leveling. And that way I can actually see how much output I'm getting from my solar panels to my batteries by looking at the voltage on this. Now this can't, this faceplate can also be removed and they also include the plug if you want to plug this directly into your uh, Wi-Fi or a USB or phone port so that you can use the Bluetooth. Now I'm not going to go into the Bluetooth connections on this. Uh, that's a bit beyond me for one thing. I've never hooked one up to you uh, to uh, Bluetooth, but they do send you good instructions for explaining how to use the Bluetooth app. They send you a, a special instructions just for that and using this. And they send you good instructions. I looked through this. Uh, very well written instructions for understanding how to use the inverter and set it up. Now it does come with, like I said, the three foot, uh, eight gauge cords or, uh, wires. These are your connector wires that will go to your battery. Red goes to positive. Black goes to negative. On the back of this inverter, it has covered plugs. You need to un, uh, just unclip these. And then it has a bolted nut in here. You'll collect connect these to the proper, red to the red, black to the black, and then connect them to your battery, red to the red, black to the black. Simple setup, and then you can turn your inverter on. If it works and everything's hooked up correctly, then you can plug in appliances. Now, the other thing it has on the top, and this is real important, it has this little flap, which maybe you can see there, it has a flap with a screw on it right there. That is where your fuses are, and it uses the blade fuses, like I said, the same type you'd find at any in any automotive store, has about four fu uh, blade type fuses on there. I'm not exactly sure what the amps are. I'd have to look in the instructions. But if something blows, goes wrong with this, this is repairable at home. A lot of inverters, you can't repair them. And so this one, I like it because I can open up this. If I have a problem, I can check those fuses and see if I've blown a fuse, replace the fuse, and get it back in order. That's the number one thing that generally happens to an inverter that may cause it to stop functioning. All right, and it, uh, I especially like that it has the re out a lot of other inverters they looked especially around this price have no LED readout I don't know why they don't include an LED readout every inverter should have an LED readout that at least tells you what the battery level is so at a glance you can take a look and see what this is it does come with the Bluetooth like I said so if you have it out in your garage or in a shed outside of your house you can use the Bluetooth and also see what the battery levels are and some other features all right, I'm going to hook this up now to my battery just to make sure that it works, and I'll show you how it works off of my battery. Okay, so here is the inverter, and I have it hooked up to my battery. Now, when you take the uh, covers off of these posts, uh, you may notice that the uh, bolts may be upside down. I flipped them up so that the screw head is on top just to make it e the connection a little bit easier. These are 8-gauge wires. Make sure that you get these connections very tight. Okay, don't over-tighten them, but tighten them up. There should be no wiggle on these, or otherwise you lose connection. Now, this is connected... Uh, red to red, black to black, and connected red to red, black to black, and that is a ampere time 200 amp hour uh, life pull 4 battery, which I also got off Amazon, and I am using solar using a Renogi Wanderer 30 amp controller designed for life pull 4 batteries that's connected to my solar power outside. So there's how you connect it, and then you will put the covers back on this. Okay, so now I've got the protective covers on it. That is so that something can't possibly cross these and cause is shorter an arc across these two posts. So put the, the protective power on, uh, panels back on it. Now, 
You will notice that this also has a fan. I didn't mention this before. This does have a fan because when you're running heavy duty appliances, it will cause the inverter to heat up. So it needs to ex expel that heat. It does have a fan that will only kick on when it's running uh, heavy appliances. Generally, the fan won't run because the fan does use up a small amount of power. Okay. So red to red, black to black, connected to the batteries. So let's go ahead and turn this around and we'll turn it on. And I'm using this from my power station. Uh, recharging station which I use for e-bikes and running my microwave and small appliances. In order to turn it on you have to push and hold this button right here. And there it turns on and then it will flash for a minute and then it will show you the uh, battery voltages. So right now my battery is sitting at 12.9 uh, volts. Okay, so uh, a full battery, a full life pull 4 like I've got there, will be about 13.2 volts. So I'm a little bit low for this morning but it's recharging. Uh, because it was used overnight, it's recharging now from the solar power. So that is working, and uh, I like the uh, the readout that it tells me what the voltage is on my battery, okay, uh, since my controller doesn't have that on it. And so now we'll go ahead and I'll plug in my microwave, and I'll start my microwave to show you that it does run these larger appliances. Okay, so I've got my uh, microwave cord plugged in. This does have two AC outlets. So now get, let's go over here to the microwave. And the microwave lights are on, and we'll go ahead and start this up. We'll just put it for one minute. Start it up. Now, the way I can tell if this is pure sine wave uh, really fast, a uh, microwave will make an odd noise if it's using my modified sine wave and can actually burn out your microwave. It should be very quiet. should ap operate just like it's running off of your household AC power, and that's what this sounds like. Listen. Okay, very normal running. Okay, so this works great running my microwave, and this microwave is uh, 700 watts. It will run appliances up to 1,000 watts uh, with a peak surge of 2,000 watts. All right, so there is the inverter that is, again, the power drive, uh, 1,000 watt. I think this is a good unit. Uh, appears to be well made. Uh, I like the fact that it has replaceable fuses, and you've got that readout so you can see what your batteries are. Okay, I think it's a good product on Amazon.